You know, there's very few plants in the garden or as a house plant that give you such structure and architectural interest as the sedum, succulent, and cactus families. And I'm really happy to be here with Deb from Cornell Farms to discuss that and talk about some of the great plantings you've done in containers with them. You bet. Well, if you haven't seen it, um, all these types of succulent plants are the rage right now in containers because they're so easy. They take almost no water, a little bit of sun, and you're done. And yeah, they really are simple to take care of. And if you're busy or if you just, you know, think, a lot of people think they don't have a green thumb, which I think is, yeah. I think everybody has one, we yeah. just don't know it. But right. this is really a way to start out and, and make it easy for yourself. It really is. And there's so many colors of foliage, so many sizes of foliage, so many textures, including like fuzzy, want to pet kind of foliage. And, and then so. ones like this where you don't really want to pet them so much because right. they're covered in spines. And yeah. this was one of our producer's favorite, uh, favorite ones right here. Well, when you're doing it, I'm assuming, Deb, that it's mm -hmm. like with any color pot, you mm -hmm. look at texture, color, all yes. of that stuff. Mm -hmm. what, what went on creating this one? Well, first of all, we had this a beautiful specimen, and we wanted to make sure it was one of the featured plants. So we tried to offset it with things that had a little variegation and green and blue and just some other colors, but everything sort of subdued even in comparison with yes, this. Yes, yes, and it is very dramatic. Now, I'm assuming that when you're going to be planting any of those families in a pot, you're going to use a special kind of soil. That's right. You want to use a cactus mix for these. Um, that you want something extremely fast draining. You do not want the roots to sit in water. Yeah. So. And again, most of these do grow in full sun, so That's if right. you're going to have them inside, mm -hmm. what, what's the light requirements? Bright light. You really should try to have this in almost direct sun, and you could put this out for the summer on your patio sure. or whatever and enjoy it there, but then just don't forget to bring it back in. Yeah, a lot of, uh, all, in fact, almost all my houseplants I do that with, so you could certainly do this with this, these mm -hmm. kind of containers as well. Yeah. And you know, the fun thing is they're they're such large families and there's right. a lot of them that are really quite hardy here. Mm -hmm. uh, let's run out to your outdoor area oh, yeah. and look at the ones that you could plant out in the you yard. Bet. Sure, there's some good ones. So you know Deb, this is an example of really a mostly hardy collection of sedum, succulents, and cactus mm -hmm. in a color pot that is just stunning. I love this combination, and especially this aeonium, mm -hmm. um, dark, what's it called, Zwartkopf? Yeah, yeah. Um, so dramatic. In fact, as it grows, it gets legs, and yeah. it's so pretty to put things underneath it. They're almost like little trees. They're really exquisite. And you yeah. know, what would you say to someone who says, well, this one isn't hardy. What if it dies? Get another one. Get another. That's exactly <laughs> right. Because, you know, we, can, we, yeah. do, we do that with annuals. Right. So, Mix and, it up. Yeah, exactly. The hardy and the non-hardy. And this whole table in front of us is a collection of very hardy uh, sedums and succulents that are just exquisite. There's so many great ones here. And the thing about them is you plant them out, and you just forget it. Yeah. Yeah. They take root. I mean, you can probably water them once, and that's it. Yep, they just take off. They're so drought tolerant, and mm -hmm. they love the sun, and they just have such texture and color. And I wanted to walk down here with you, Deb, and look at this. This is just, talk about architecture. Oh, right. That is one of the main reasons why I think people love succulents. They and just create these forms yep. that are just riveting. Well, they almost look like uh, creatures like, uh, that are animals instead yeah. of, of plants. They're really beautiful. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, there's a lot of plants that you can choose from to add to your garden that are easy to care for, that are mm -hmm. really beautiful. I really want you to come out and see Deb and her wonderful staff at Cornell Farms. Talk to them about sedum, succulents, cactus. I'm sure they'll probably even help you set up your own color pot. You betcha. All right. Thanks so much, Deb. Yeah, thank you.